So in this video, we're going to be talking about how this turns into this, and we're going to be looking at the world's first compactable two-in-one height parallel. Let's get straight into the video. So these are the Kenzui Nano Bars XL. So what are these trying to fix? What problem are they trying to solve? Because there are plenty of parallels out there that will have maybe sort of benefits to them that these won't. What problem are these trying to solve? Why should you spend your hard-earned cash on a set of these? So there are many reasons for people to want to use a set of parallels. But in many cases, depending on what exercise you are doing, you might need different heights. So for instance, there are going to be certain exercises, maybe like an L sit to maybe a tuck push up to maybe a tricep dip, all the way to just standard handstand push ups to push ups. Different height parallettes are going to be needed for those roles. You're not going to be using a low parallette to do your L sits, to do your tricep dips. There isn't enough room for you. A higher parallel is going to fill that role better. There might be certain exercises, maybe like the handstand push up or certain exercises where maybe a high one you don't want to use. Maybe you're worried about the stability of it. Maybe you want to be a little bit lower down or a bit more comfortable. Whatever it is, a lower parallel might fill that role better for you. What sort of purpose these solve is you get two in one. The other thing is as well, some parallettes can be quite big. Some can be quite heavy. Some of them aren't particularly portable. Some of them you can get are quite small and you can put them in a bag, but they tend to be the lower ones. And obviously when you're reducing the sort of its floor space, you kind of take away some of the stability there. So there are sacrifices when you have portability or the size of the floor space, up. you kind of reduce the stability there for the portability. So these are trying to fill in the gap of a two in one different heights, but also making them collapsible so you guys are able to take them away. So this is how they will come. This is, I'm gonna show you how you set them up. So you unscrew this end here. And out of here, you'll get some of the legs there. Again, you can screw this back up, make sure it's nice and neat. And on the other end, we have these. Screw that back on. We don't want to lose that. So these are our floor ones, let's say. You can tell that because obviously you've got the little indents here, which is going to be which either one of these is going to screw into. The other thing is as well, we've kind of got like a non-slip surface underneath here. So this is going to be very grippy. Again, this is what we want when we're doing parallel, especially if we're going to be leaning, creating leverages. We want to have that grip on the floor for purely for safety. So these are going to be your floor ones. As you can see, they've got these little indents on. I've obviously got the high ones set up here for you, so I'm going to set up the low ones. These ones, as you can see, will wrap around these floor ones to obviously allow them to fit in. These are your low ones. And as you can see, the perfect shape goes in there and you push them in. Very, very simple. Same on the other side. Push them in, very, very simple. Then, as you can see, those slots are here to slide in. And you've got a good, maybe, an inch and a half, possibly, where it's actually going in. So again, it's not like it's slightly in and you have to worry that if it slightly comes out, it's just gonna fold. There's a good amount of distance or travel this has to go in there. So for any of you that are gonna be worried about that stability of it falling out, these are cut pretty well, so you have to actually properly pull them to get them out, but there's enough depth in there that's gonna hold them in place. So those are different sides. Let me set up the second one as well. Show you how quickly you can actually set these up. Again, this is why they kind of fill that role, because now within a couple of minutes, what looks like a couple of bars that you've got just packed in your backpack. And these are about 15 inches long, so they should fit in most backpacks. You've got something that you can take away and uh, store in your backpack. And then within a few minutes, you've got a set of parallettes that you're able to work out with. So the little indent here, I would say maybe a couple centimeters in there but it's tight fit. These things aren't gonna come out. You're gonna sometimes wanna bang them in or sometimes I will sort of go like that to make sure that they're in as far as they go. As you can see, let's get these out of the way here. So as you can see, 
there's quite a bit of height difference here. So let me talk about some of the sort of specs of these different positions. So we've got the low height is four inches or 10 centimeter. These are predominantly gonna probably use for your handstand push-ups. Again, this one, you've got the height. Again, you might see a little bit of wiggle here. I mean, they're not gonna come out, but again, this is what you're paying for when it comes to portability is you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of stability. Obviously, the longer that this is, this bit here is made of aluminum and these ones are made of plastic. However, the higher you go, obviously you're gonna lack that stability. So something like this might be better for sort of your handstand push-ups. You wanna have that stability to sort of like your traditional push-ups to maybe your planche push-ups to your pseudo planche push-ups. This way you're gonna want the stability. Again, why these are good and why people might choose a set of parallettes for learning those movements is, is that this is gonna be easier on the wrist than say trying to do it on your hand. A lot of people are gonna lack that wrist flexibility to really lean over. This is where these things are really gonna sort of fill that gap in for you. But these are very easy to set up and simple to use. The diameter of the bar is 40 centimeters and it's got like this nice kind of grippy feel to it. So again, it feels comfortable in the hand and it's grippy in the hand as well. And especially once you start getting a little bit sweatier, it still holds its shape. It's still nice and grippy. The higher settings, okay, this is basically double the height. This is eight inches or 20 centimeters. Again, these are gonna be exercises where you're gonna do your L sets. You're gonna find it difficult with these lower ones, but these ones on here, again, you can do them in your handstand pushups as well. And this way you're gonna benefit from these is obviously you've got the extra, extra range of motion to go a little bit deeper. If you wanna do your sort of your tuck push-up, get your knees up to be able to do a push-up. Again, that extra room, especially if you haven't got the strength to kind of like really tuck yourself in, the core strength, the hip flexor strength to hold in, these might be a good position to have. Or if you just wanna do your traditional tricep dips, these are gonna be the sort of bars that you're gonna use. And what I'm, what the purpose of these are is, as you can see, you're getting both of these heights in one product that folds into a 15 inch bar that can fold away into your back. It's lightweight, again, this doesn't take much. Again, this is aluminum, so this is very, very strong, but it's hollow and these plastic bits in there are there. So you might think, okay, because they're made of plastic, they're of poor quality. They're not, they're pretty sturdy, they're pretty hard and they do the job. Again. You're lacking a little bit less stability here where these are gonna be a little bit more stronger for some of those positions. But like I said, you've got numerous exercises that you can do in one piece of equipment. So the, the question is, is how much do they cost? So they're £79.52 in pounds. It's gonna be a little bit more obviously in dollars. However, I've seen some parallettes that are that price on their own for one set. Sure, they might be fixed. They might have more stability. They might be made of you know, wood or certain things like that. But again, you're getting more functions in one product. So you're paying not a bad price for two functions in one while also being collapsible. If you want to check out the product, a link to it will be down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.